Hello everyone and welcome back to Destin Learning. In this video we're going to take a look at Service Oriented Architecture or SOA. So let's go ahead and look at the details. Service Oriented Architecture or SOA is a pattern for service communication over a networking using standard protocols. Services are discrete, reusable, loosely coupled, and interoperable. They range from simple data retrieval to complex business processes like order management and customer relationship management. SOA services are independent, reusable, and interoperable. They use standard protocols for communication and facilitate a flexible, scalable approach to building complex systems. SOA offers scalability by allowing independent scaling of services and flexibility by enabling easy modification without affecting the entire system. Reusability is a core principle of SOA. It allows services developed for one application to be reused in others, enhancing development efficiency and reducing time to market for new features. SOA supports cross-platform integration, allowing services to be built with different technologies to communicate and work together. This is especially beneficial for organizations needing to integrate legacy systems with new technologies. SOA allows for easy maintenance and updates. Services are loosely coupled so developers can modify or update one service without affecting others. This improves maintainability and reduces downtime. SOA can lead to significant cost savings, especially in large organizations with complex IT ecosystems. The ability to reuse services and integrate legacy systems minimizes the need for extensive redevelopment. Monolithic architectures tightly integrate all components, making scaling or modification challenging. SOA, on the other hand, emphasizes modularity, allowing independent development, maintenance, and deployment of services. SOA and microservices both decompose applications into smaller components. SOA involves larger services handling broad functions, while microservices are smaller and focused on specific tasks. SOA uses an enterprise service bus for communication, whereas microservices prefer direct communication using lightweight protocols like HTTP REST. SOA is widely used in enterprises to integrate multiple applications into a unified workflow, especially legacy systems. For example, a bank may use SOA to integrate its online banking platform with legacy payment processing systems. SOA helps e-commerce platforms integrate systems like inventory management, customer service, and payment processing. This creates a seamless operation allowing businesses to scale and adapt their services without interruption. SOA helps healthcare organizations integrate systems like patient records, billing, and lab results into a cohesive network. This ensures medical professionals have access to all the necessary information improving decision-making and patient care while maintaining system flexibility. Many government agencies use SOA to connect disparate systems and enabling efficient public services. It integrates tax, immigration, social security systems, improving communication and reducing redundancy. In summary, service-oriented architecture is a powerful framework for building scalable, flexible, and maintainable applications. It emphasizes modularity, interoperability, and reusability, making it ideal for large organizations. SOA is better suited for enterprise-level applications and remains a strategic approach as technology evolves. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it's given you a good idea about some of the details of service-oriented architecture. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.